Hi, this video we have a M610 which has the video card damage problems and sometimes it was a back back pin damage. It looks like the T5500 riser pins on the back plant of the M610. Um, this is how the inside looks like. If you want to replace the motherboard, you need to take out this SAS port. Yep, this can be removed. Then you need to take out this daughter card. In this case, we have the Menanios 10 GBPS card. So this also has to be removed first. Yep, the same back pin like this. The next thing we need to take it out is the heatsink. like this so the SAS card had been the SAS back plant has been removed this tool clip has been opened and pretty much ice car seat tube this also can be taken out since the board is no longer in use then there's a clip here you just lift it up and pull it out Once the M610 board has been pulled out, you got a SAS 6 i controller. They got field top. They got a Per 6, H200, H700. In this case, we have the SAS 6 IR. There's a blue pin here. Just you need to flip it up like this. Then you take it out the SAS 6IR card. The processor can be removed. And that's it. So this board can be put on one side. And we have a replacement board here. This is the one. We putting back this controller card for the hard drive and yeah, you just basically you just need to put it in make sure the card is fully inset after that you just slide it in make sure it's properly laid down and check underneath if there's a gap then this means not fully fully laid down the board you have to make sure that yeah. Yeah. so now the motherboard is fully insert you need to put back this back plant so the female connection of the hard drive have to facing the front cage and you clip down you need to install back the maintenance card for the 10 GBPS pass through on the back basically just clip in when it was clipped in just yeah, pin this now and the CPU you need to put it back The newest firmware on this M610 is 6.4.0 and 
if you up, update the firmware it can take up to x5690 hex core and i try it with the x5687 the uh, 3.6 gigahertz quad core and 6 dim of the 8 gb can be support when you have one cpu installed if you add the second cpu it's further six time dim stop so 96 gb ram easily can achieve on this m610 and yeah that's it pretty much for this video thank you bye